What's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Look where we're at. Look where the heck we're at. Guys, we're going to have another episode of... The Everyday Kitchen. Yes, that was a amazing introduction. I hope you enjoy my martial arts skills that I don't have. Anyway, Mikeyson, what are we going to cook today? What are we going to do? Well, today we're going to make some chili. Let's take a look, see, at some of the ingredients. Boom. We have minced garlic. We have jalapenos. We have some ground beef. I'm going to be adding fajita seasoning because I don't have any chili seasoning. We have onion. Some salsa. A pepper. Pinto beans. A little bit of extra spicy salt free Mrs. Dash some oregano some chili beans here some diced tomatoes some hot diced tomato rotel black pepper hot sauce all that good stuff looks like some good stuff don't it now I might not put the hot sauce and uh, the salsa and the rotel in there in the main mix I may do that kind of separately because my wife don't like anything spicy matter of fact air is too spicy for my wife so, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get the meat thawed out which I do quickly in the microwave and then we're gonna go from there you don't have to see all that all right we'll be back in just a moment stay tuned So yes, as you can see, I do it the quick way in the microwave. I unthaw the meat, get it done. I don't care. Uh, once in a while, if I remember and I get the meat out quick enough, that's what she's, it, it unthaws and, and I go that route. Otherwise, microwave all day long. Now we're gonna add a few ingredients and let some of these things kind of cook in together with the meat. So let's do that, shall we? I went ahead and cut up my onions and uh, my pepper to save time. Everybody knows how to cut these up. Alright guys, and really that's it as far as making chili goes. It's a very simple procedure that anyone can do. I know if I can do it, you can. That's for sure. 
So right now we're just letting it all heat up and cook up a little bit and soften the beans up a little bit. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, yeah, super simple. You've seen the ingredients. Nothing major. Now I didn't put in the hot sauce, the jalapenos, or any salsa. Sometimes I substitute some of the ingredients in there with salsa because salsa has all kinds of stuff in it already from tomatoes to onions peppers and you know different herbs and spices and stuff and so if you've never done that uh, try putting some salsa in your chili it's pretty amazing and uh, gives it a lot different flavor too and you'll notice I did use the fajita seasoning I didn't have any chili seasoning so you kind of got to use what you got to use and fajita seasoning has some good taste to it anyway so anyway guys that's kind of a quick rundown of cooking some quick homemade chili and uh, homemade you know things are from a can they don't mean it's not homemade like I don't have a bean patch out there I can't go pick my beans tomatoes onions peppers all that stuff I don't have that stuff so homemade as far as I'm not going out and just buying a can of chili and dumping it in a bowl and eating it so I think that's most everyone's idea of homemade is going to the store and buying stuff and throwing it together but anyway uh, we'll let that cook down and then we'll do a little taste test and see what we think of it guys stick around alright guys the moment of truth it's over there still simmering on the stove top but I got me a little tiny little uh, bowl if you will this is something like you'd have like sauces in it's little teeny tiny <laughs> but uh yeah we'll take a little bite see how it is mm. yeah pretty good not bad I didn't add any salt or anything. I try to stay away from salt as much as I can. I will add a little bit of hot sauce, a splash or two. Of course that has enough sodium in it. You'll notice my chili is not super red. I try to take out a lot of the redness, like red saucy stuff, because it tends to give me more heartburn. Hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good, guys. Well, you've seen how simple that was. Super easy recipe. And chili is like anything else, man. You can add whatever you want in there. Like I said, I even add salsa. A lot of times, salsa, ketchup, whatever you can find to go in there to bring some new life into your foods, it's all good. You don't have to stick to one simple plan. A simple recipe is simple that do whatever you want that's a good thing about food you can do whatever you want and that's what we do here in the everyday kitchen anyway I hope you enjoyed this kind of quick episode of the everyday kitchen I kind of did things a little differently to kind of speed things up a little bit you always see my beautiful face you didn't have to see me the whole entire time and You'll be all right. You're seeing me now. Anyways, always experiment with food. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. It can be a lot of a lot of joy and excitement in food. Okay. While you're at it, guys, while you're checking out Mikey Sun TV, go in there and check out the playlist. My playlist has everything from cooking to cycling, working out, art projects. I just did an art project yesterday. I drew a character. Go check it out. You got to look in the playlist though because that's where everything's at. 
Okay? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to Mikey's and TV. And don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get ran, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on Mikey Sun TV. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's amazing. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!